After entering wages, hours, and activities, you should verify the wages and hours entered for each pay period by printing an hours and earnings report. The hours and earnings report is used to list the hours worked and the gross earnings for both hourly and salaried employees within a specific time period for all or specific departments. Weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annual summary reports may be produced. This report can also transfer employees' gross wages for the selected time period directly to the budget expense interface accounts. From the Personnel Browse table, click on the Reports toolbar menu, then choose Hours and Earnings. First, select if hours and earnings are to be reported by date or by pay period. If Report by Date is selected, you can enter any date range desired. If Report by Pay Period is selected, you will need to enter the beginning date and ending date range for the pay periods to be reported. The Report by Date option will only be available when the Project Labor Tracking Configuration option in the Personnel and Labor Setup is selected. If the Budget Expense Transfers Configuration option is selected, you can select one of the three reporting options. Hours and Earnings Report with no Budget Expense Transfer, Transfer Earnings to Budgets without printing an Hours and Earnings Report, Report and Transfer prints the Hours and Earnings Report and transfers to Budgets and Expenses. Select to show employee detail and or hours only. If requesting a transfer to the budget expense accounts, enter the budget posting date. This date is important as it is used by the budgets and expenses to post these transactions into the proper fiscal period. Select to report all employees, specific employees, or specific departments. If you choose to report specific departments, click on Specific Departments and select the Departments. Specific Departments option will not be available if the Departmental Pay option in the Personnel and Labor Setup is not selected. You may also choose to report Active, Seasonal, Terminated, or inactive employees. Click on the Print tool to begin printing and or transferring information. If an invalid account number is detected during the posting process, the rejected transaction will be shown on your report. For more information about hours and earnings reporting, please refer to the TRIMS reference manual.